Welcome sa sip9.com. Sa video tutorial natin ating series about domain and range no and in this video ang gagawin natin is uh, to solve more problems about domain and range no. So uh kung makikita niyo ating first uh, function we have find the domain and range of f of x equals negative square root of negative 3x minus 2 plus 1. So yung plus 1 nasa labas siya ng radical sign. No? Okay, so uh, from the previous video, sabi natin, lahat ng mga numbers under the radical sign must be uh, greater than or equal to 0, di ba? Yung mga nandito kasi, hindi naman siya pwede maging negative. Pag naging negative itong nasa loob nito, square root of a negative number is undefined. No? So, hindi siya pwede. So, meaning negative 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? And... Uh, Adding 2 to both sides, we have negative 3x is greater than or equal to 2. No? And dividing by negative 3 on both sides, magiging x is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds. No? So aralin nyo to, no? Pag nag-divide kayo or nag-multiply kayo ng negative number sa inequality, babaliktad yung kanyang sign. Okay? Hindi ko na ipapaliwanag dito kung bakit ganun, but uh, you can search for it on the internet, no? And, uh, as of now, i-accept nyo na lang yan as a uh, rule. Okay? So, ito yung ating uh, domain, no? Ito yung possible values of x natin. Tapos, dito wala naman tayong problema kasi plus 1 lang naman. So, meaning, negative 2 thirds, no? Negative 2 thirds. Less than. So, lahat ng number na less than negative 2, negative 2 thirds, including negative 2 thirds kasi, uh, may equal sign. So, so, itong number na to at lahat ng numbers on the left. Okay? So, yan yung ating domain. Which is the same as pag nasa uh, interval notation natin from negative infinity. No? From left to right tayo, no? So, from negative infinity up to negative two-thirds. No? So, ito yung ating domain. Pag gamit tayo ng interval notation. No? And uh, alam natin yan na yan yung ginagamit natin dito sa series. No? Now, for the range, alam natin yung buong number na to. Alam natin yung buong number na to is greater than 0. Diba? A greater than or equal to 0. Sinabi na natin yan kanina. Yung number sa loob is greater than or equal to 0. Meaning, pag ginawa mo yung square root niyan, ang pinakamaliit na value nito is 0. No? So meaning, pag kinuha mo yung square root niya, greater than or equal to 0 pa rin kasi pwede ka pa rin mag 0 tsaka positive, di ba? So yung buong buong number na to, yung bibiduga ko ng red, this is greater than or equal to 0, no? However, pag nilagyan mo siya ng negative, ano namang nangyari? Lahat ng mga positive magiging negative na, di ba? Palagyan mo siya ng negative. Tapos pag 0, 0 pa rin. So 0 and negative, meaning less than or equal to 0. Okay? Pag ang positive number, yung nasa pula, nilagyan mo ng negative, magiging negative na siya, magiging less than 0 na siya, no? Pag 0 siya, magiging equal 0. So meaning less than or equal to 0 yung buong number na to. Lastly, we have... Maybe I'll use this one. Kaso may plus 1 ka. Okay, may plus 1 ka. So meaning, less than or equal to 1. Okay, lahat ng numbers. So yun yung ating range. So our range is less than or equal to 1, meaning from negative infinity up to 1. Okay, gusto nyo i-check na ito? Check natin yung graph para makita natin kung tama tayo. Now, the graph is actually ito. In advance ko na para mabigis. So, negative square root of negative 3x minus 2 plus 1. Ito yung graph niya. So, the domain is a set of x coordinates, diba? So, ang set of x coordinates from here, I think this is negative 2 third yung sinabi natin kanina hanggang pakaliwa. So, ibig sabihin from negative infinity to negative 2 third yung ating domain. Tama? So, from negative infinity to negative 2 thirds. 
Now the range is actually from negative infinity up to 1. So the range, no, pababa siya. So, yan, wala yung katapusan pababa. So, ang range is this, the y coordinates, diba, of the graph. So, from negative infinity hanggang 1. No? Yun yung, ito dito, from negative infinity to 1. Okay. Now, for the second number, we have, for the second number, wala na to, no? Ah, oh, sorry. Kasama that was from the old uh, video. So, dito we have uh, square root of x minus 1, meaning x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, meaning x is greater than or equal to 1. Tama? Adding 1 to both sides. However, yung nasa baba, diba pag nasa denominator, sabi natin not equal to 0. x minus 4 must not equal to 0. And adding 4 to both sides, we have x is not equal to 4. Meaning the domain, no? pag meron tayong number line, ito yung 1, ito yung 4. Greater than or equal to 1 siya. Pag anon, pero hindi kasama yung 4. So from here to here, and tapos from here up to infinity. So using the the um, interval notation, we have the domain is from one up to four. No, because I'm in four, so parenthesis siya, and then from four to infinity, and then you union natin sa so yun yung domain ng ating function. No? Okay, so that's it. I hope meron kayo tutunan sa video na to. Um, so kung invite sa ating uh, YouTube channel no? at syempre sa ating website sa zip9.co uh, just uh, subscribe to our channel or to our website kasi marami pa tayong i-discuss. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.